In this scenario, you can see here I have three different objects, the green, the yellow, and the red object. Now, if I don't want to move any of those objects by mistake while I'm working on my game, what I can do is I can lock any object that I don't want to change. For example, I don't want to change the red wall here. So I'm going to go up here and click on the lock and I'm going to choose the red wall to lock the red wall. So now the red wall cannot be moved while I'm working in my game. Let's take a look. I'm going to select the green object. I can move that. I'm going to select the yellow object. I can move that, but the red wall cannot be selected. So I cannot move the red wall by mistake. Once I'm all done with my work, I can unlock that object by clicking on this again and go back to the red wall and unlock the red wall. So now if I want to move the red wall, I can move it again. Let's say if I want to lock a bunch of objects. So instead of clicking on the lock and choose each one to lock, I can just select them all and then go to the properties window, look for a locked property and check that box. So now all the selected objects are locked. And when I'm done with my work, I want to unlock all the objects. I can just go up here and click on the down arrow and unlock all to unlock all the objects. And you can see the, the lock property. These three objects has been unlocked. Thank <laughs> you.